collection of devious tricks and marvelous masterpieces over their 40-year history. Tonight, they'll unveil one of their most prized possessions. Welcome your confounding curators, Penn and Teller. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. And you know, um, you know Johnny Thompson. Oh, Johnny yes. Thompson's our mentor. He works with us all the time. He's also the big boss. He's the judge that listens to everything we say. He knows how all the tricks are done. He decides whether we've been fooled or not. He's the final decision. And this is the stage he toured carnivals with uh, in the 70s all over the USA and uh, Mexico and Canada. And we've replaced almost all of it piece by piece. But uh, I want to show you, we can, there's a trap door built in here, if Teller can, Teller can find it here. So this is one he could use. I mean, even though he's working outside of the fair, he can use a trap door. He can sneak someone out here. And come over here, Allison. We'll show you right up behind it. There's real 70s mylar here. Can I help you up there? Walk right, walk right over there. We'll see the... Uh, then there's a skull set up over here for his ventriloquist act. And you pull this and the... Hi there. How are you? It, uh, it talks, see? I'm a dead guy. That's amazing. Yeah. And you do a whole routine with there. But the best thing I want to show you, let me get down first so I can, I can help you here. The best oh, thing there, you. Allison, is this mirror cabin. Now, you know the expression in, uh, in magic that it's all done with mirrors? Yeah. Well, sometimes it is. Here's a cabinet that Johnny could use to, uh, it's great Thomsonian company. He could vanish company. He closed the doors like this. And then some sort of magic gesture, abracadabra, whatever you want. And then the box is completely empty. And we thought we'd, um, if we were trying to bust this, we'd notice the, uh, the stripes here and the fact that the angles in the front. And there's a mirror there. You just pull it. You, you can see it move there. It reflects this as the side. You think it's the back. And if you look at it, you know, mirrors do all this stuff. If you can I crouch down a little bit, sometimes a mirror will give you like a funhouse mirror. It gives you a different oh, yeah. angle. So in this case, if you look down a little bit, tell it could appear to be uh -huh. smaller. You see how is the angle? Yeah, the angle is that way. The angle is that way, and Teller seems a lot yeah. smaller. And then if you get up, can you get up? I know you're already wearing heels, but get up on your uh, on your tiptoes there. Yeah. If we close the mirror again, yeah. and you get up kind of high, Hi. I don't know if you got the angle right, Maybe. but you should be able to see that Teller will look, you know, a little bit bigger. Now it's obviously an illusion. We can't actually make him bigger, but there's, there's he looks bigger, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks bigger. Yeah. And the great thing about this is. Um, Mirrors can do amazing stuff, Allison. If you, you know, when you're in, maybe in a, in a restroom and they have the mirror in front of you and the mirror behind you and the, the, uh, the, the reflections go back and forth and back and forth, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see like multiple oh, images yeah. of I yourself. Uh, so that's, that's the Tom Sony uh, uh, right. Can you come over here and join us? With, uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah. So that's that's the uh, that's the box. That's that's the box. Yeah, I'm moving. Hi. 